Good morning, good morning, everybody. How are you? Yay, my name is Samantha and I'm coming to you on behalf of EPIC. EPIC is Empowering People and Inspiring Community. EPIC stands for Empowering People, Inspiring Community. EPIC Tri-County CT is a multifaceted platform to share our voice, to share our visions, to heal and to empower and inspire. And we do that through our printed publication, which is published every two months. Also uh, through our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, our website, www.epictricountyct.com. And of course, through collaborating with business owners, practitioners, and healers to bring you the empowering and inspiring information. So in a few minutes, I'm going to bring on um, a rock. Um, he is a rock. He's part of the foundation of the epic energy. Um, very powerful, talented person. You've, you've seen him before on epic interviews, and you'll see him again and again and again. So I'm going to bring Brad on in a moment or two, but I first want to say thank you for everybody to everybody for watching. Um, whether you're watching live now or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we appreciate that. And we know our message is going to reach who it is supposed to reach at the time it does. I want to thank Lisa. I am a co-creator and co-publisher of Epic. Lisa is the other co-creator and co-publisher. And without Lisa, this would not be possible. So thank you, Lisa, who is working our comments and the Facebook post feeding the leads and the links and all that. So please give a shout out to Lisa. Tell her thank you. Let her know you're here. Let us know how you're doing. Um, I'm so excited today, Wednesday. It, it, it may be a little gloomy out there, but I feel like I'm back in the game. And that is what Brad just told me, that he's back in the game. And just hearing that is helping me to step up to the plate and to be here with you and for you. So thank you, uh, Brad. I'm going to bring you on and Lisa and everybody for allowing this platform to help heal and empower. I just want to say one, one thing. Uh, each day we talk, Lisa and I, in the morning and we do our daily word. And I'd love to share that word, um, our perpetual word today out of the perpetual calendar is comfort, right? Comfort. Where are you finding comfort um, within are you finding it within your own soul, within your own essence? Are you reaching out to converse and connect? Whatever it is that you need right now to feel that comfort, please empower yourself with what it is that you need and know that we're here to comfort you. And I am going to bring forward a beautiful comfort, comforting person. I almost called him a comforter, but that's not applicable. He's a very comforting person. He brings music that comforts. He brings healing that comforts. He has products. He has an essence about him that is definitely game on. So let me bring Brad in before I ramble on anymore. There you are. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. Um, you came through again. Um, you are definitely to keep with the game theme we're on. You're a pitch hitter. Um, always, you came right up to bat for us. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my um, You've been a part of Epic Interviews. Was this your third time, maybe? Yes, it's my third time. Yay! Oh. So what are you going to share with us today? I know that you have a lot of stuff going on in in the musical aspect of your um, genre and your of your business, whatever, tell us what's going on with your music. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, my business name is Crystal Music Healing. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are really the three main uh, areas of my focus, my interest, and my passion. And they're all interwoven together. And um, Lisa actually, you know, I was, I emailed her and she's like, be free. <laughs> and I said, sure. Because, um, and I, I was supposed to have a, a, a class with one of my spiritual advisors uh, today, but it's actually next week. It's every other week, and I got it confused, so I had the time, and then it filled in here. It was perfect. Uh, it was perfect. Uh, uh, and before I launched into my music, um, I, it just I knew what the name of the Epic Magazine was and what it stood for, but somehow it really just aligned and anchored in with, with my own vision and my own mission because 
my, you know, one of my, my signature is to, um, um, oh, what was it? I already forgot right now. Um, inspire. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, but it's, the, it's along the same lines. You know, I really do oh, empower, uh, my, my music, my healing service, my classes, everything that I do is, is designed to empower people. Uh, I've mm. seen so much. I'm not even going to go into it. I've seen so much disempowerment. Subjugation would be um, being overpowered by another. But um, disempowerment is when you disempower, you, you take your own power away or you give it away or you repress it. And that's really a really main focus on what I do. I have this ability. I can see where you're blocked, what you're, what's going on, and I can help you to become aware of it and shift it. And my music... Um, oh, and inspiring. I, I live by example. I lead by example. I have a very rich life experience for someone my age and my demographic, but that's because it's all part of my journey and because that way people can relate. They can, they can take, um, they can learn from my experiences and my lessons as I share them. And surprisingly, music, it was always it was always here. I'm going to put it here because music is my core passion. Music is what I was meant to create and to receive and to share and express. And um, it started from the day I was born. My mother tells this story better because I don't remember, but I actually came out of the wound humming. And all the people, the doctors and nurses in the ward, they came around and gathered around me and they listened to the humming baby. And uh, really? Since that day, I've used my voice as a huge uh, way to explore myself, to get to learn about my body and my energy, and to uh, release and express emotions healthily, and also um, now as a, as a healing tool. So, mm. you know, I originally was gravitated towards the piano when I started writing music right away, and uh, it wasn't, and I moved to San Francisco when I was 24. Four, and I had music, which was here, but then I was also a massage therapist, and they were separate. And, and that was that was it wasn't until I discovered a sound healing school where I thought that those two interests would would marry. I called the sound healing the keystone that held the arch together. And then I found myself uh, being asked to perform a, a concert of my piano music. Uh, at a, a seminar by who is now a wonderful close friend of mine, a cosmic sister, uh, Dr. Lori Moore, who now recently she moved to Hawaii. And after I played my piano compositions from my first album that I self-produced, which is called Behind the Surface, mm -hmm. uh, when I first started playing, it was a bunch of random people in a room. And then after I started, after I played. I was seeing their higher selves. I was seeing fairies, angels, elves, extraterrestrials. I mean, it was just insane. And the feedback that I received from them was extraordinary. People had journeys. They healed. They had visions. Uh, one person, he said, he told me I must have been doing music for thousands, tens of thousands of lifetimes because I guess I think they're called Gurundis. They're these little Hindi um, beings, like little demi beings that that dance around like little fairies around one's head. And I guess it takes like ten thousand years of doing music to attract one of them. And he said I had four. This was all the feedback that I received. So at that point, I really had um, I was invited to reassess what's in my music and and what is expressed. And I've come to understand that. Music is it's a universal language. It's also a manipulation of, of vibrations and frequencies and relationships, but it's multidimensional. You think that when you create sound, it just dissipates eventually. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a pressure wave. But I've since learned that it actually affects all of the dimensions, like even the, the dimensions we don't see. And, and so like, even when you're alone singing in the shower or every time I practice the piano, I'm not really alone. There are beings, angels, light beings, other beings of consciousness that are receiving and appreciating this sound. So it's very, it's, it's very sacred to me uh, that I receive these 
a lot of the music I write is, is I spend a lot of time composing, but what I'm doing is I'm perfecting a structure. And I know that sound creates geometric structures within mo molecules and atoms and energy. There's a whole science behind it. And, yeah. and <clears throat> what I do is within my music is, is embedded these, I believe, activation codes, information, sonic information, with the, the, the shapes of the, the music, the way it progresses and interacts with, with, with itself and what it does for the listener. Like I, I, I barely listen to anyone else's music because it's pain, not painful, it's uninspiring. So I really do believe there's some energetic quality, like multidimensional quality, especially within even my, my classical sounding piano compositions. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's really been always. I just, I just, I don't mean to interrupt, but I just saw music. I just saw music. I've heard music my entire life, but I just saw it. Um, thank you for sharing that. Literally, um, I can see the geometric shapes. I can see that vibration, the, the, the structure of it going out and touching the trees, the flowers, and then rising up. So thank you for sharing that. Um, what a beautiful take on it, I guess. And thank you for sharing that. Um, I just recently purchased a collection of your music mm. and um, listened to it quite often. And it's beautiful. Uh, I believe it was SoundCloud. Is that where I purchased? I can't remember. Um, yeah, the, uh, the link, if you can put it up here, it's... it's yeah. uh, uh, an independent musician resource called Bandcamp. So yeah, yeah. You the, the entire uh, URL, it's HTTPS colon backslash backslash. And my full name, Bradford W. Tilden. I'm sorry, bandcamp.com slash Bradford W. Tilden. Okay, we'll have Lisa get that out. And if okay. it does not out now, definitely share it because um, I find comfort it's funny the word is comfort and yeah um in just being with the music that you've you've shared with us um through your compositions and your your recordings um where are you going now i know that you're involved in a project with icloud is that what it's called it's Cal it? the the company is called cloud nine that's it and they developed and uh, it's a it's a collaboration between uh, several local practitioners and entrepreneurs and all of the practitioners who are involved they have some sort of healing practice obviously uh, many of them are responsible for writing language for guided meditations and the guided the the, the, the vision of this company is to uh, spread awareness about the benefits of meditation over the detriments of medication. Ah. So really, it's like uh, the, our, our tagline, which we might trademark, is uh, prescription meditations. And what, what's great about this company is, well, we have, a, we have one app that's available on both the Apple and Android platforms. And this app is called MediMind, M-I-D-M-I-N-D. -I -I you can go to the, I've got an Apple, so I have an iPhone. So you go to the, the app store and type in MediMind, there it is. Mm -hmm. And what's nice right now is it's, uh, there's a free 90 day uh, subscription. Uh, we did that as our way of, of giving for the, this COVID epidemic or pandemic that's happening. Because uh, a lot of people are stressed, a lot of people are looking for comfort, yeah. and there's a lot of meditation, guided meditations that that help with that, with decreasing anxiety, uh, with building inner trust, even with strengthening uh, the immune system. Because that's been mm -hmm. uh, proven as a benefit of meditation as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought, I was brought on uh, very early on. Actually, we began working on projects in 2016, and uh, they just fell in love with my music. And they, they shopped around, they went other places, and they just kept coming back to mine. 
So uh, they, they took me on as their resident composer. And uh, I have the wonderful opportunity of creating original meditation music to be played uh, alongside the guided meditations of them. Speaking. And there's been such a positive response to the music itself that we are now in the process of uh, we're looking at releasing at least our first volume of digital, uh, a, di a digital volume of, of the, a collection of some of the instrumentals that I've created. And uh, I was looking at my files and I've written over six and a half hours of original meditation music so far. And uh, I always put it on in, my, in the background when I'm doing things. And I would recommend other people do the same. Um, I do. I write. I've already write meditation music, and so this isn't you know far away from what I actually. My, I'm actually passionate about. Many of it is available on on my my page on Bandcamp. Uh, I design a lot of the music for me to use in my own healing sessions. Um, you know, I, I have a half hour meditations, uh, two of which they're available digitally. Uh, they're for two of the archangels, Michael and Uriel. I'm working right. on. Um, Archangel Metatron right now, and I have plans of doing Raphael, Gabriel, and, and some others. Uh, but I also have gemstone layouts for Archangel Michael and Archangel Uriel that that came through me that I use. I teach in one of my classes, and that I also uh, I, I I can give people in my healing sessions. And I do have this vision, and which will come to fruition hopefully at the end of this year, of having a, a physical CD release of the. Uh, guy of the angelic, uh, the archangel meditations, and I will have some space, it hasn't come to me yet, with a really nice sound system, and I will have everyone lay down, and I will put uh, the layout, uh, like a Archangel Michael in the center, do some energy work uh, with the distance healing that I'm able to, to have everyone in the room receive the energy of the layout while listening to the meditation. That's the that for that experience. Beautiful. Now, you said um, the crystal, is that the class that you're doing in September, the introduction to crystal healing? Is that where the grit, the layouts will be? Hmm. Um, or Great question. Great question. No. <laughs> I love it. Um, I, um, I've been teaching crystal healing workshops for um, over a decade. Yeah, and um, that is really an introduction, so that I can really in, inspire people mm -hmm. uh, and empower them to to start to see uh, levels of consciousness beyond the human, the and the animal, and the, I mean the plant. Uh, I always say, say in every class, you know, the mineral kingdom is the oldest and first kingdom of life on this planet. I learned that in first grade. Every it goes over their head. What does that mean? You know, well, that means that this is alive. Mm. Right. So, um, and the workshop is really, it's to get, it's the tip of the iceberg. You know, I give people basic, um, I call it house housekeeping, how to care and clear your crystal. Some, you know, a couple of meditations, how to charge them, basic um, uh, correspondences between what some crystals can do for you. And that's really just a, uh, it's basically an introductory workshop, yeah. but I do teach certification classes. Uh, okay. One is in this modality that I, I'm the uh, highest ranking uh, teacher and practitioner in the Northeast uh, called Universal White Time. It has two branches. Uh, one is the crystal gemstone healing, which is the one that really, really got me on my spiritual journey. It really it completely changed my life. And then also the energy healing. So I do have those classes coming up as well. Uh, I was just asked to schedule a level three gemstone healing class at the end of August in Higginum. And the gemstone healing classes do not need to be taken in sequence. The level three class is specifically about information about how our chakra systems and our auras are evolving due to the uh, relationship with the rising frequencies of earth and the energies around us. So if you're still on the fence, in denial or unaware of this fact, the earth's core vibration is rising and that is affecting all levels of consciousness. 
And one can find comfort in learning about what this means for them, what they can expect, and how they can help harmonize and balance their own changing body's vibration so that it rises up harmoniously with all of the, the, the raising of the frequencies. And this also relates to the all of the craziness that's around right now with the, the protests and everything. I was on a call last night with other white time healers. We did a, a massive group meditation. This one was specifically for the oceans, but one of the people pointed out that this is just the healing of the karma of the United States that was never resolved during the Civil War. It's mm -hmm. always been under the surface, but the frequencies are rising and they're pushing it pushing up it. and out to be yeah. transmuted. Yeah. So that, that's really, so if you're interested in learning about uh, uh, and balancing through the vibrations of the gemstone layouts, your evolving chakra system, uh, contact me. Um, and I think that's amazing because I, I'm holding, I've been holding since we've started um, my master crystal, my Labradorite um, wand. So I'm really eager myself to begin to, to learn more about the crystals and the, the bowls that everything that you do, Brad, is helping that vibration of the earth to rise but also helping us beings be comfortable in that ascension also i mm -hmm. mean very very powerful everything that you do um the music the the classes just you i have to share with everybody you came on your pro okay Bradford did not know he was our guest until about 20 minutes before he came live. So thank you. And that just shows you and our community and our viewers that this is real. It's authentic. And you bring 100% of yourself. You can feel your passion. There is nothing prepared. There is nothing, you know, scribed out. You speak right from your heart and bring that to everybody that you reach. So our goal together as a community with Epic, myself personally and Lisa, is to share your message and your passion with as many people in our world as possible because it is so needed right now on an individual level, a family level, a community level, and a world level. Thank you. you know. You mentioned meditating, the group meditation for healing the oceans. And what I saw when you said that is this ripple. I know we talk of the ripple when a small little pebble goes into the pond and it ripples and it ripples like the music continually goes out. Mm -hmm. Just the meditation that you were a part of last night, not only was healing the ocean, but again, that ripple is healing the beaches, the people on the beaches, and it just so bless you and thank you. Thank you. Um, it, it also worked with water, of course, which were about yes. percent. I in the past week I've increased my intake of water. I'm now drinking on average a hundred ounces of water a day. That is two and a half of these. I've got my little messages of abundance strength balance joy water is the most easily programmable substance on the planet it is a key to life and consciousness and i would recommend uh anyone switch to drinking more water and also uh, you can highly program water with intention structure yeah. water and make sure it's alkaline water and has electrolytes and minerals in it um, tap water is essentially dead water unless you really, really, really meditate and and do a lot of energy work on it with intention. But I, I process my tap water through a, a, a alkalizing water filter, and then I have this weird little device that I pour the water through that structures it. I don't want to get into water. That's not our topic today. We could take an entire. I know, hour. I know. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to program my water using the music that I purchased from Bandcamp. That's a brilliant idea. That I'm going to program my water today using the recordings that you so beautifully orchestrated and put together. 
Um, as we begin to wrap up, um, the 25 minutes goes by so quickly and, and we're going to have your core part of this. You, you'll be back again and again and again and again. Um, oh my God, Spirit, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, I want to ask you. You mentioned that when you were giving one of your first concerts in San Francisco, you saw the few people in the audience and then you saw their higher selves and their angels and guides and ascended masters. Um, when you were getting the feedback that you explained, was it both from um, our human brothers and sisters at that concert and also their guides and teachers or was the feedback coming, was it coming from both or just? They were, they were what I saw was, this is a very highly advanced group of people to begin with. But you know, you walk into a group, a group of strange, a room full of strangers, and you, you you don't recognize any faces. Well, after the concert, what I saw was their higher selves had integrated with them, and it's like they were shining, they were they were peering through them. So it's not like they were above them or separate. And I'm not uh, clairvoyance is probably the the least developed of my clairs, <laughs> and. Uh, and so I get flashes of it sometimes. So I didn't really necessarily visually see them, but what they were sharing that their, their human body was, was sharing what they experienced. But I was able to see, like, it was almost like a superimposed who that being really was uh, beyond the human vessel. Cause we are spirit in a physical body and we all come from very, 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 an infinite number of different variables of origins and alignments with what we our soul resonates with. And that's really what I was seeing. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well, it's like when I saw the music, you know, um, when I explained that earlier, um, what I was seeing, it, I wasn't seeing it, but right. I could see it. Yeah. So that's the most of my clairvoyances. It's when I'm doing yeah, like yeah. And stuff for channeling. Yeah. I had to ask that. So tell us about a concert that's coming up. You want to tell us about yeah. July 25th? Uh, absolutely. So my concerts, this concert in particular, it, it, I'm, I've prepared uh, I'm almost 45 minutes worth of piano music. This is the longest time. This is the longest piano portion of my concerts at this center called the Avant-Garde Holistic Center in Brantford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And I've been going there for years, on average, maybe four times a year. Um, we are, and after the music, after the piano music, I segue into the crystal bowls and my voice and sometimes Tibetan bowls and drums, but I'm really just feeling bowls and voice right now. Um, and my voice definitely, I, de I definitely channel angelic and ancestral indigenous frequencies. And again, this, I'm getting the word code right now. People feel healed they feel more relaxed lighter clearer some people have uh, reported pain physical pain being gone uh through the process of my uh just channeling and downloading these these music sometimes music sometimes chanting sometimes just pure tones mm -hmm. uh but the way that i manipulate frequencies is in response to the collective energy of the group or uh, for a specific intention. So it's always unknown. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it personally because I've done so much spiritual growth in these past few months and clearing that uh, I, I used to hold back because I'm very powerful and with pow great power comes great responsibility. And you don't want to scare away uh, or frighten um, not delicate, but maybe, I guess, delicate or, you know, uh, minds, you know, yeah. people sometimes walk out because it's not their cup of tea. But if I'm there and I'm just blasting everyone with an energy that they, they're not able to assimilate, that yeah. is not constructive and it's certainly not comforting. <laughs> so, right. you know, I mean, I really do take it up a notch um, uh, versus, and I totally respect other sound healers and their approach. A lot of sound healers are very soft and tranquil, and it's just this really nice, you know, comforting um, level of, you know, light relaxation, like going to massage and be for a massage, 
you know, I'm more of that like therapeutic massage who will jab his thumb in your, you know, neck and really get that knot out. And they'll be like, ah, but then afterwards it'll feel better. So right. you know, that, that's what to expect. But everyone seems who comes to my, my shows, love them. I've got a nice following and I'm looking forward to, to seeing them again. And I am looking forward to meeting new people. I uh, know. Cleared and activated uh, through a sonic experience uh, that is always at its core, love and light. Um, you check me out. Of course, my music is available. You can experience that by going online. And um, space. You're literally from cover to cover through Epic. Yes. <laughs> so with any, all yeah. your information is available on the yeah. website with live links to email you and to contact you. Um, the event, it's called Sonic Alchemy Concert with Bradford Tilden. That's 7 to 8.30 on July 25th at Avant Garde. And um, seating is limited to 18 people. So yesterday when I was I was um, announcing this, reminding everybody that that is a limited seating. So please register today. The phone number is 203-481-8443. Or you can email avantgardect13 at yahoo.com. Again, that's on our website, the event page. You can just take the live link and go right into Ron's email. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And again, very visual when you said you were talking about the delicate minds and the delicate vibrations of some people. And and your music where you kick it up a notch and really get it in there um we've been playing with the word comfort mm -hmm. and what came to me is maybe we need to get a little uncomfortable mm -hmm. before the true comfort comes and whatever that is you are the conduit for it you are the like yeah, yeah yeah you you are your voice is unbelievable. Anytime I listen, I get angel bumps all over me. So thank you for being here for us. Thank you for being here for our world. Can't wait to have you back. I'll see you on the 25th. Um, looking forward to seeing Ron again in Branford. And um, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Karen, uh, Lori, J. everybody out there that follows us. We so do appreciate it. Um, thanks for stepping up. I have one more message while you were sharing the comfort. Um, Absolutely. Activation. That's my other word. That's what I do. I, I activate. Uh, I'm a conduit for activation. And you can't find activation in comfort, but it's the, the it's activation occurs in the uncomfort. So that goes That's in right. with what you just said. So yeah. it's really time now. You know, now is the time. Now is the time. Thank you. Thank you. And as always, um, everybody today enjoy your day you know be safe um stay safe and stay healthy and stay and be who you have come here to be stay tuned and as always peace out epic scouts and so much love to all of you and gratitude to brad thank Thanks, you Paul. drink water mm -hmm.